What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So, I didn't mean to start the video this way. It's just kind of how it has to happen. We're going to pick up fish from UPS that was supposed to be delivered to my house. And I'm about to tell you why. So I ordered some fish, some super rare super expensive, super cool fish that none of my friends or myself have ever had a nice one. Anyways, ordered them, paid next day air on UPS, and I'm sitting here, and it's supposed to be here at 10.30 to noon, and now it's currently 1.15, and I called down to UPS, and they told me that somebody shipped something illegal with that shipment, but I can come pick up my fish for a small fee, which is kind of trash, because I paid for next day air shipping, you know, the most expensive shipping that you can pay for with UPS. But anyways, we have to go down there. We're hoping these fish are alive. I can't wait to show you these guys. They're dope. They're super dope. And I'm also going to share with you where I got them. So if you want to get them too, you can also get them. The price is probably the best price for the quality of the fish that I am getting. So I forgot to record this interaction when I went down to UPS, but that's fine. They had a hard time finding my package. They said it was in the warehouse, and then they looked for it, and it wasn't there. And then the lady got on the phone with a bunch of different delivery drivers and found out the package was actually still at the airport. Needless to say, I got the package. I just wanted to get them home and open them really quick, get them acclimated, and into the aquarium. All right, so what I'm about to do is I'm gonna cut these bags open, put both fish in here, and I'm gonna set up a drip line and let them get acclimated. I do gotta rinse this out before I do so. So in here, we have a couple of super red Texas. That's why we do this over a bucket, just in case you drop them. They are actually red, this guy. Still trying to get some of that black off. This guy's the stunner though, look at him. Can't wait for these colors to get better. All right, gotta get him back in that water. Super big shout out to my boy Douglas over at R2 Flower Horns. Hit him up on Instagram. I'll leave the link in the description. If you're looking for some cool parrotfish, Texas cichlids, or flower horns, Douglas is your man over at R2 Flower Horns. Just let him know I sent you and he'll treat you right. So the fish have been in the aquarium together for about two hours along with my Vieja and electric blue cars and Placos and all that stuff, the arowana. And I thought I got two males, but I'm pretty sure that one's a female. They seem like they've paired off. Uh, I haven't vented them. I think they're too small to tell still, but we'll find out soon enough. So then I'm just going to sit back and relax and watch these guys and don't worry, I'm going to be making a bunch of videos on these Red Texas and all the different things that go on, all the different controversies, the statistics of breeding Red Texas, all of it. Not too many people have Red Texas because of the price of them and I understand that. I decided to go out and grab them and now I'm going to try to teach you guys as much as I can possibly learn myself with these two. Until next time, peace. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before you guys leave, I need you to leave a comment down below and guess if I have two males or a male and a female. I'll let you guys know in the next few videos somewhere.